What's up, YouTube? It's J-Rod Ham 78 coming at you with my final comic haul video of 2018. Um, to be honest with you, I haven't, I haven't done any hunting in a while. Uh, this actually, this actual haul actually got started maybe two weeks ago because I've been on vacation for almost three weeks and I got the itch to do some hunting. It's kind of bored. And um, yeah, so I didn't think this was going to happen, this kind of haul, but it ended up strong. And I ended up more books than I thought I was going to find, but... Let's get this video started. This uh, first first stack of books is a $65 haul. There was a small mini convention out at a local mall. And uh, I like these small conventions because you have you have a little bit of free vendors, but it's more about the comics instead of all the pop culture stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm, I love collecting pops, but this is about the uh, digging through those long and short boxes, dollar bins, stuff like that. And then I just feel like you got more opportunity at small cons like that to find good stuff and just do some digging. Most of, most, most of the time you got collectors just trying to get rid of their collections. Uh, just they're overstocked or and they just wanna make a quick buck. So yep, let's get started. $65 haul on this first stack of books. Um, what if Spider-Man joined the Fantastic Four? So it's what if number one. Got that for eight bucks, damn near. It's like a 9092 condition. Got to put it in a Mylar. I haven't had time to rebag some of this stuff. Uh, got Incredible Hulk number 377, the first appearance of the Professor Hulk. I'm on the bandwagon with this book now. I remember Amazing Murfner has been preaching about this book for a few months now at least. So I've been finding these for the cheap right now. Because you guys saw what happened with the Avengers Endgame trailer. Everybody flipped out on, on fucking Ronin on that trailer. And I went through my boxes, dug out those new Avengers books and flipped them like, like hotcakes on eBay, man. I can't believe what people... Paid for those books for those were a lot of 50 cent dollar bin books that I had. I flipped them on eBay. Like I said, man, the speculation market is, is hot as fuck right now. Any little trailer, any little hint of something being somebody to be in a movie, a TV show, or people going ape shit over. And that's cool. I'm, I'm still down with that. I'll, I'll sell my books and <laughs> those books that I have because I know I'll find them again anyway. It's real cheap. So if people are willing to pay for that, I'm all for it. I'll make a quick buck off of it. No big deal. But like I said, I'm starting to find these in half price books. I've got my own, but we'll see what happens with the next Avengers Endgame, Endgame trailer. Um, speaking of trailers, uh, this also goes on to the Avengers Endgame stuff. It wasn't on the trailer, but photos and stuff. You know how the internet works. Uh, I've been seeing other people's videos. This is all dollar books here now from this point on. Invincible Iron Man number three, second print variant. Um, this all has to do with Pepper, Pepper Potts. The rescue effort that supposedly is going to take place on the Avengers Endgame to get uh, Tony Stark <laughs> out of there. Uh, so, here we go. Invincible Iron Man number 11. Invincible Iron Man number 13. Got all these for a buck a piece. Invincible Iron Man number 12. Invincible Iron Man number 14. Number 15. Number 16. Number 17. Issue 18 and issue 19 got those all for a buck piece. I think the seller I got these books from was if you bought him, if you bought 15 books, they were 10 bucks. So I ended up finding getting 15 books, and the last five books were I just pull out the box and just get the hell out of there. Um, uh, I didn't find issue 10. I think somebody else might have beat me too, which pisses me off. I got I might have gotten there a little too late, so somebody else might have snagged that. The fact that I found all these in sequential order except for issue 10 means to tell me tells me that they was there. Somebody else got it. But as part of that 15 bucks for 10 bucks haul, uh, Captain America number 265 with Spider-Man appearance, Nick Fury. Uh, New Avengers number four, cool Spidey cover. I think I got several copies of that already. Captain America 187. So, wow, below 200 issues. We've got that for a buck. Captain America number 320. And for some reason, I don't know why the hell. Like I said, I was trying to get out of there. Superman number 149. That's an homage to the other Superman red and blue costumes. Uh, from a, way back in the day. So yeah, that's part of the $65, $65 haul. There's more. Uh, here we go. I've been working on my um, Fantastic Four bronze copper run. So I've already rebagged these. Fantastic Four 298, issue 300, issue 302, issue 303. 304. Got several copies of this. Just love this cover. You know what's about to happen at this Fox Disney merger. 
happens. Hulk versus Thing will happen. Um, Fantastic Four 262, 287, 289, 290, 295, 297. Uh, what else? The big books I found from this hall right here, this other part of the hall, was uh, Green Arrow number 44. Is that, is that, is that who becomes who gets HIV positive? Is it Speedy? I don't remember, but I found that. It was in the dollar bins. Also, um, these weren't dollar books, but um, like I said, the total haul was 65 bucks. Uh, the best books I found that day, I think. Incredible Hulk, uh, 1 in 10 Michael Turner variant. Incredible Hulk issue 100. I've got a CGC grade of 9.8 of this over here with Michael Turner's signature. It's a thick-ass book. Got that. Also found another Michael Turner cover. Teen Times number one Michael Turner cover. Beautiful cover. I got, I've got this book already. This one's signed from him from way back in the day when he used to come to Wizard World, Texas. So I got like two or three copies of this now. And I also got um, the Mighty Thor 411. Uh, first cameo of the New Warriors. I've already put this up on eBay along with Thor 412. So I'm flipping those books. I got several copies of this. And so I'm going to sell them. There's no need for me to have multiple copies of this. I'm not a big fan of the New Warriors anyways. But pe people, like I said, people are willing to pay for, book, pay for those prices for those books. So Stuff that I find like $5 or less, and then I'm going to make a quick buck off of it. I mean, it is what it is. How, that's how the market is right now. Flipping them like hotcakes. Hashtag flip mode. Uh, what else did I find today? I went to the little shop after that little small convention. Got these for 2 bucks each. Uh, Iron Man number 133. Cool cover. Ant-Man, Hulk, and Iron Man on the cover. Got two copies of that. Both in near mint condition. 2 bucks a piece right there. Love it. Um, what else have I found? What else has been hot? Oh, you know what else has been hot? Goddamn Immortal Hulk. I finally read the first four issues and I had the second print of issue two. And I didn't realize the first print had, has gone kind of nuts, $20, $25 book. And the second print is like $15 too. So I found the second print for cover price also that day. And then uh, I went to Half Price Books the following day, or a couple days after that, I found another copy of the second print for two bucks. And I found uh, Amazing Spider-Man 35, J. Scott Campbell cover for two bucks. I've already rebagged that. But Immortal Hulk's a damn good read. I've already read the first four issues. It's up to issue 11. Um, I'll wait to find those at half price books. I refuse to pay. The only books from Marvel that I will pay $3.99 for as far as a, a, a monthly type of pool service right now is probably Venom because of Donnie Cates. Uh, I think that might be the only one I have in my pool because Marvel's straight garbage, man. I, I mean... You can leave in the comments tell me what else I should be reading, but the X-Men shit's garbage now. Um, I would not pay. I don't, I don't see myself paying four bucks a, a book for, this, for the crap they've been putting out lately. Um, it's, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, you can find, you can find a lot of the Marvel stuff in dollar bins, and you'll see later on this haul some of the stuff I found in dollar bins because they, they, they glut the market with all the bullshit comics, and the shops are stuck with them, and next thing you know, you can find them at the shops for a dollar or half price books for two bucks. So be patient with the Marvel crap. Like, you'll find them cheap. I mean, like I said, the only thing I have on my pool for Marvel, I, I believe, is just Venom. Uh, can't think of anything else. If I buy something from Marvel, if it, it's usually just gonna be it's gonna be for cover cover purposes, like J. Scott Campbell or anything that's hot, and that way I can flip it. But as far as a monthly pool reading comic book for Marvel, it's just Venom for now. So that's those books. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, t -t 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 -t. All right, here, guys. Let's go. Let's go with some no more dollar bin finds. Um, <laughs> speaking of flipping, uh, this went ape shit too. Infinite Crisis number three, Jim Lee cover. Um, God dang it, first beetle. I forgot his damn name, but uh, I flipped my other ones. I flipped issues three and issues was it issues three and five or issues three and six. So my cop was on eBay because people were paying ridiculous money for 20, 30 bucks for a cover and for the blue beetle. To me. Blue Beetle's irrelevant. I don't think he's a major DC character. And for people to hop, jump up on that bad one again, for that character, especially when DC can't even make the damn movies correctly with their main characters, which is, it, 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 it's it's crazy. I, I, don't, I don't get it. But whatever, like I said, I'll flip the books to make the money. I'll buy something else with it. Uh, Batman, White Knight, number one, first print. Got that for a buck. All this is 21 bucks for 20 bucks. Uh, the Realm, number five. Got that for a buck. Now here's here's the dollar bin Marvel stuff I'm telling you guys right here. Amazing Spider-Man Year Vows number 17 for a buck. Issue 20 for a buck. 
The Walking Dead's, I got these for a buck. Walking Dead number 181, I think these are the cover A's, other covers, this is the run where Bill Stinkovich makes those uh, gorgeous brand covers. So I went ahead and bought the regular covers, got them all for a dollar each, issue 180, 177, 176, 175, got those for a buck. I got this Teen Times number 50, got it for a buck, cool looking cover. Uh, this is a gorgeous cover. It got uh, Justice JSA number 26, gorgeous Alex Ross cover, got that for a buck. Oh, this is awesome. JSA number 25, got that for a buck. Uh, Justice League number 45, I couldn't remember if I had that copy, but I think I, I do, I found out I do. But oh well, it was a buck, you ain't lose anything. That's the, the Dark Dark Side of War part five. Got issue 46. Issue 47 is a gorgeous cover, got those for a buck. Got God Country number six, I think this is cover B, I have cover A, got that for a buck. Wonder Woman 38, Jenny Frizen cover, got that for a buck. Um, Captain America Civil War Prelude, got that for a buck. And <laughs> uh, back to Immortal Hulk, um, the shop I went to where I got these these books I'm just currently showing you for a buck. They're in long boxes. He hit, they don't have no idea what the hell's in there. So I, 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 <laughs> I don't know if it's fucked up on my part or whatever, but I went to the new stuff and went to the Immortal Hulk section. And I, I went through the weekend before and I, they didn't have these books there. So I go back there, and this this is a situation. If you have a pull list, pick up your damn books. If you don't, the shops will put them on the racks if you wait too long to pick them up. So um, Immortal Hulk number two. Got that for a buck. I put it in with the, these dollar books right here, and so I went to the register. I go, hey, I got uh, 20, 21 dollar books. Didn't, he didn't look at them. He charged, charged me 20 bucks plus tax. Got them for a buck. First print of Dr. Fry. This book's on fire right now. And Immortal Hulk number three. Got that for a buck. Um, you can probably pair up the combo, those two right there. You probably get it for 35 bucks, 30 or 35 bucks on a good day. If you're lucky, 40. But got that stack of books, 21 bucks for 20, for 21 bucks for 20 bucks plus tax. So, hey, I call it hustling, call it what you want. It is what it is. Um, pick up your pull list, guys. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Uh, what else do I got here? Uh, let's go back to the. Um, Went hunting the other day, for around time, 20 minutes, try to make this into 20 minutes. Went to this one shop, and um, I went to the shop in this mall, and in my last video, I sh from a few months ago, this is the same shop where I found um, t two copies of Teen Times number 12, and a copy of Totally Awesome Hulk number 22. And I remember the last time I was there, the time I, did th I bought those books, they told me to come back in November, December, they're gonna restock their back issues. And this isn't a big shot. It's more towards the magic gathering, gaming type of shit, board games that people play. So I, walked, I went in there, I was bored. I started digging through the box again. And when I walked in there, there's a sign that says 75% off single issues, off cover price. So I'm starting digging. And, uh, and here, here we go. This haul right here cost me 14 bucks. 14.87 to be exact. And my boy Gomez, holla at you Gomez. I showed him a picture of the receipt. He knows it. He knows I ain't lying about this shit. All right, uh, Titans number 11, Lazarus Contract Part 1. Got several copies of that, but if I'm going to give them 75% off, I'm going to do it. Uh, Teen Titans number 8, Lazarus Contract Part 2. Deathstroke number 19, Lazarus Contract Part 3. And Teen Titans Special number 1, Lazarus Contract, the finale. Got those 75%. Like I said, this, this haul is 1487. Uh, Suicide Squad number 26, Dark Knight's Metal Titan. Got another copy of it, got two copies there. Uh, got Nightwing number 29, another Dark Knights metal tie-in. Uh, if you can put, you can put the Dark, the Nightwing, the Suicide Squad, and the Green Arrow Dark Knights tie-in, you can probably get 40 to 50 bucks for the set. So I'm looking for the Green Arrow. I think I have it in my box somewhere. If not, I'll find it and I'm gonna sell it on eBay because I've got extra copies of this. And if that's what people are willing to pay for, I will sell it. I really don't care, I've already read them. Especially if I got extra copies, no point. I mean, make, make, make money. Just like Tupac and Biggie said, make money. Uh, Batman number seven, what was the Quarter Valley storyline? Also, cool cover, got that for 75% off. Uh, Walking Dead number uh, 148, first appearance of Laura uh, from the Whispers. Uh, Walking Dead number 138, first appearance of Alpha, I believe. Uh, like I said, guys, $14.87 for this haul. Uh, Spider Man Deadpool number one, that's a $10 to $10, $20 book right there. Uh, Vincible Iron Man number 10. Here's, here's the goodies, bud. Here's the goodies, guys. Okay. Totally Awesome Hulk number 20. First print. 
and bam. Totally awesome hole number 22, first frame. Like I said, like I said guys, this haul was right here, $14.87. Let me know how I did it there. Uh, you already know what I'm gonna do, do with these, some of these books, flip mode. You know how it is, guys. Uh, let's see, went to another shop that same day. Um, they had a 30% off sale. So this haul, these books, I'll name the price. Got Invincible Iron Man number one, movie shot cover, six bucks, 30% off that. Uh, Invincible Iron Man number one, second print cover, that was 350, so take 30% take off that. Uh, Invincible Iron Man number one, second printing, uh, love that cover. Got that for 350, take another 25% off of that. Invincible Iron Man number eight, 350, take another 25% off of that. Got another copy of this, Invincible Iron Man number nine, second print. And Invincible number Iron Man number nine first print. All these were 350 or less. 350, most of them were 350 plus 30 percent off. Another one, the movie shot cover was six dollars plus 30 percent off. So found those there. Uh, couldn't find it. Haven't found it. You ten. I, I will find it. Trust me. If I'm finding totally fucking awesome hulking cover price or less, I, I will find it. You ten. Trust me on that. Just gotta make time. It's all about time and effort, guys. Um, what else did I find? Speaking of Marvel, same day went to his other shop. And uh, dollar bins, tell you, Marvel equals dollar bins, guys. I'm telling you guys, all new Wolverine number seven, got that for a dollar. These are 15 books, 15 all new Wolverine books. All new Wolverine number 21, 23, 24, cool cover, 25, 30, issue 31, issue 32, issue 33, issue 34, and issue 35. Issue 35 is the last issue that series before she started off their X-23 series. So I got those 15 books for a dollar. I got most of that run now. I got I got a few issues that I'm missing. Shout out to the CLZ app, keeping track. Scan them barcodes, guys. Uh, that'll really help you out when you're on the hunt. Oh. And when you start get on the hunt, you get that urge, that rush, and that drilling starts kicking in. Like, you don't know if you have that book or not. Comes in handy, man. That way you not, you're not getting multiple copies. Well, hell, if you want to get multiple copies, it's up to you. But it really does come in handy when I'm hunting. So got those 15 books for a dollar each. So like I said, Marvel equals dollar bins, guys. Got to be patient with them. Got to really, really be patient with those guys. Um, speaking of X-23, this was the hot book uh, last week. Uh, X-23 number seven, cover A, got one, got two copies of it, gorgeous cover. Did not, I have not found cover B to Diodato cover. I will find that, trust me. Got those for cover price. Um, found this too, I don't know if it's kind of cooled down. Got this for cover price. Harley Quinn number 42, got that. Uh, what else, got Avengers number, you'll see this in my next stack. Avengers 347, you, you're gonna probably wonder why I'm just showing that Avengers book, you'll see here in a second. Got that for, Two twenty-five had. Uh, I think I got it for a dollar because uh, the, the shop had it five bucks or less. The comic books would be a dollar, so I got that for a dollar. Sticker price three twenty-five. Got it for a dollar. So final stack, guys. Ooh, I'm gonna try to make this less than twenty minutes. Went to this one shop heading back that same day, and they had a twenty-five percent off sale. So this stack right here is about thirty-seven dollars. Tell me how I did. I'll start off with the. Uh, okay, let's just fuck it. Let's go. This has been hot lately. Shout out to Mercenot. Young Avengers number one. Uh, sticker price is three bucks, 25% off. Near mint condition, guys. Uh, first Kate Bishop, I believe. First, all these new characters. Uh, Young Avengers number 12. First Kate Bishop is Hawkeye on the cover, I believe. Got that for three. Take 25% off. Found two copies of it. There you go. Bam. Trust me, they're already on eBay. Uh, Young Avengers number nine. Got two copies of that. $3 sticker price. Take 25% off that. Like I said, $37 haul. Here we go, guys. Avengers number 345. First Star Force, Captain Marvel movie. Uh, 347, another copy of that. Uh, let's see what else, guys. Uh, you're probably going to wonder what's this about. Uh, great uh, West Coast Avengers number 46. First appearance of the Great Lakes Avengers. Uh, I'll show you why I'm showing you that. Uh, let's see here. Because you can pair it up. 
what this book got this in their dollar boxes also west coast avengers number 45 first uh was it white vision gray vision got four copies of this now got two copies of the for a dollar each paired up with issue 46 15 20 bucks on ebay done deal got an issue number another issue of 46 first west what great lex avengers got that for a buck in the same shop another copy of avengers 347 346 and 345. You can pair that up, probably make 20, 25 bucks. Got those in the dollar bins in that same shop. Like I said, $37 haul, and I'm not done yet. Here we go. X Men Legacy number 249, Nimmer Condition. Shout out to Donnie Cates. He blew that book up. Uh, X Men Legacy number 252. Shout out to the end game. Uh, got that for three. Take 20, 25% off that. And X Men 253. Got that. It was sticker price four bucks. 25% off that. $37 haul. Dollar bin, same shop. X Men Origins number one, Sabretooth. X Men Origins number one, Colossus one shop. Uh, what else? Since we're everybody's got a hard off of Ronin, the speculator market. Um, Mighty Avengers number nine, Ronin revealed. We all know who that is. Got two copies, buck each. Um, I just got this for just issue 300, 301. So two copies of Avengers 301, dollar each. And uh, Dark Avengers number 11. Cool uh, Harry Osborn cover. Uh, got that for a buck. Uh, I think that's all the books, guys. I mean, um, like I said, man, the, the, the speculation market is hot as fuck right now. Uh, it is what it is. I'll keep flipping them. Uh, like I said, it's my final haul for 2018. Uh, shout out to the community. Uh, shout out to the speculators who are spending crazy amounts of money on books that were in a dollar fifty cent bins here recently. Um, I don't know, man. That's all I got to say. 2018 flew by. We'll see what 2019 has in store. Some hot movies coming out. Uh, shout out, Like I said, shout out to the community. Uh, read them comic books, guys. Shout out to them yellow labels. Them signatures from CGC. And that's all I got to say. Peace.